It's a tumor, a growth. There's nothing I can do. Quinn has gone there, he's been having these headaches, and he goes to get them checked out and discovers that he has a tumor. You're going to start to get weaker. I promise to be discreet. Well, I appreciate that, Doc. The doctor who's treated Quinn delivered his son, but Quinn, because he's so paranoid, the fact that anybody would have this secret other than him, is he goes out and he orders Sonny to, to kill Vale's parents. I want you to go inside and clip those down. I don't understand. It sounded clear coming out of my mouth. I think all their killings in the past were for, you know, a war, a battle, but this was not anything like that, and so Sonny couldn't bring himself to do it. I can't. You can what? And that's the first time that Sonny has refused his baron. He knows he's gonna pay for it. So Quinn takes Sonny's sword and then goes into the house, kills them himself. For me, that's symbolic of the world at its, at its worst but it is true to his code. To maintain the view of power, he has to keep moving forward. You're a failing health and you're a leader, you don't want anybody to know that, so he has a secret that he has to keep. He has to hold his kingdom together. When murders Vale's parents is one of the big tipping points for Sonny. It is the moment when Sonny really gets to see who his father figure really is. And it's the moment that he realizes that his loyalty is in the wrong place. That becomes the second major turning point for Sonny, realizing the madness of Quinn. At that moment is, is the crux of, the, of Sonny's decision to leave. He's seen the monster behind the mask, and this is it. As far as I'm concerned, you killed him. That from that point on, it changes Sonny and Quinn's relationship for, forever. It thrusts him into action that will lead to what the rest of the series is really about. It's the most important scene in the show, in the first season.